Hello and welcome along to Thursday's update on Tropical Cyclone Ola. Let's start things off by taking a look at the satellite images and seeing how the system progressed through the night time. Now, at the moment, it's still situated very close to Vanuatu. You can see this massive cloud, and that's wrapping around as it moves down towards the south and the uh, west at the moment. But we are expecting the system to take a bit more of a southeasterly trend. Now, you can see the system quite clearly on these satellite images. But if we take a look at the water vapor images, you can really see how small but intense the system is. You see that system there, that showing the central part of the system being picked out there by those pinks and purples. And you can even make out the eye in the central part of Ola. Now, for the next uh, few days, we are expecting it to continue to sit between Vanuatu and New Caledonia. It's currently a Category 4 system, with those winds around the central part around 165 kilometres per hour. But as we go through the next couple of days, we are expecting that just to increase and intensify a little bit more, perhaps even reaching Category 5, as we go through in towards that first part of Friday. Now, that is going to be moving off towards the west before it takes a more of a southeasterly trend and is likely to stay between New Caledonia and Vanuatu at the moment. But there are still going to be some much stronger winds, some heavier rainfall, some thunderstorms, and a bit of swell pushing in towards New Caledonia as well as we go through in towards Thursday and Friday. Now, over the weekend, it is expected to see the system moving closer towards us in New Zealand. There is still a bit of uncertainty. If we take a look at uh, possible outcomes on this ensemble approach and some of the model possibilities as we go through in towards Sunday and more especially in towards Monday, you can see it does, all, most of the models do bring it a lot closer towards us in New Zealand, especially that northern part. So we have got that uncertainty. We'll know more as we go through the weekend and the forecast team here at Met Service will constantly keep a, an eye on the system as it moves closer towards us. As it sinks southwards, it will lose its tropical characteristics, but it could still be a fairly uh, active system as it moves towards us, bringing stronger winds, gales, and some heavier rainfall towards those northern parts of New Zealand. So please stay up to date with all the latest forecasts, watches, and mornings. And you can find all of those at metservice.com.